My name is Lauren Roche. I'm a junior at the University of Maryland College Park, majoring in journalism with a double minor in law and business. I wanted to pursue this internship because it blends the two disciplines that interest me the most, sports journalism and law. I grew up hearing the story of Lem Bias, and to have the opportunity to learn even more about him and honor his legacy through helping with this project is truly an honor. My dad went to the University of Maryland and his freshman orientation was the day of Len Bias' funeral. So Len's name was one that was mentioned frequently in my household. This is not a simple story. Bias's death and legacy are complicated and multidimensional. I'm coming into this opportunity with a lot of knowledge about Bias's basketball talent. However, as a part of the team this spring, I'm eager to learn more and delve deeper into the stories about those affected most by his death, such as the Maryland Athletic Department, his coaches, his teammates, his friends, his parents, his family, the Boston Celtics. Bias's death has affected so many. The one area I'm most interested in exploring is the effect of Bias's death on the nation as a whole. In response to Bias's death, the Anti-Drug Abuse Act of 1986 was enacted that put many people in prison. According to the book, Born Ready, The Mixed Legacy of Len Bias, quote, the federal prison population has soared from 36,000 in 1986 to 215,000 today, at a cost of about $27,000 per inmate. More than half of all federal prisoners are there for drug offenses. Many had either a minor criminal record before their conviction or no record. These figures are from 2010. So I will look into how these numbers have changed over the years and how it all relates back to the Anti-Drug Abuse Act of 1986. Also, one way the death of Len Bias left an impact is that it encouraged some people to quit using drugs or never even start. Young children had lost their role model and saw how quickly life can change based on just one decision. I'm incredibly grateful to have the opportunity to explore all these stories over the course of this semester, and I look forward to learning more about the Bias legacy on the University of Maryland campus.